Now that the red tide algae bloom that's been lingering along the southwest Florida coast since last November has finally reached Pinellas County's beaches, a lot of readers are wondering, why did red tide land here after all this time? This red tide algae bloom, the worst in a decade, has slowly been creeping northward along the Gulf Coast. Wind and currents shifted around. It hit Anna Maria Island near the mouth of Tampa Bay in early August, then showed up about five miles off Fort DeSoto by the end of last month. It reached Pinellas' famous beaches over the September 11th weekend and has been here ever since. Generally speaking, all the beaches south of Tarpon Springs have been hit. As of Monday, the bloom had also invaded the intercoastal waterway, as well as residential canals, so it's popping up all over and leaving a stench from all the dead fish being tossed ashore. The toxins from the red tide also catch the breeze and can leave you choking and coughing. You can keep track of which beaches have dead fish by checking the current beach conditions webpage maintained by Visit St. Pete Clearwater or by checking Moat Marine Lab's app, visitbeaches.org. To combat the algae's effects, Pinellas County has hired a contractor that's dispatching nearly a dozen boats every day to intercept the dead fish before they reach the beaches. It's also sending people with rakes and big machines to scoop up any fish that get past the boats. So far, about 172 tons of dead fish have been collected and sent to the county's landfill and incinerator. For the Tampa Bay Times, I'm Craig Pittman.